Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Today we're going to be creating this awesome logo skull thingamabobber. Uh, I drew this. This drawing is pretty amazing. It probably took me about three to four hours of solid drawing. My hand hurts, but uh, I think it came out really well. Anyhow, uh, you can pretty much just send this out and have this be a perfect logo, but I thought we'd make it into vector and maybe clean up the edges just a little bit because it is really, really smooth already. So to start off, we are going to be using um, some vector shapes and the pen tool. And that's pretty much just about it. We're going to learn some new techniques that you can do with vectors that I pretty much just learned um, like last week or something like that. So uh, it's kind of cool to teach this. So I'm going to create a new layer. I just have my drawing with an opacity of about 23, just so it's not so bright and killing your eyes. So above this, we are going to start with the, <clears throat> the helmet. This is kind of like a military helmet I'm getting on here. So to do this, um, I'm just going to draw, draw out a big circle, hold down shift. And again, I'm using just these shapes right here, because these are all vector. Not uh, the elliptical tool or whatever, just, just this. So with that, I'm going to turn down the opacity so we can see the image in the background. And let me zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to draw out a guideline that's about the center of this. Um, not, the, not the center of the circle, but the center of the skull. So uh, right there is probably fine. And you can see the center right here, and then right here it's pretty bad, so don't worry about that. And then <clears throat> what I'm going to do is select this circle and delete the right half of it. Because we want to do the left side, and then we'll go on to the right side. That way everything is symmetric and looking nice. Alright, so we have a basic circle, half moon. I'm going to create a new layer and grab the pen tool. Now what I want to do is make this loopy part right here. So to do that, I'm just going to draw one dot right there, draw down here, come up here, and then come over to like directly in the center, hold on shift and drag out. I'll click that to get rid of one handle, shift up, and then just connect it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. I'm going to dra drag this dot over. I'm going to, oh, what did I do? I'm going to zoom in and just going to drag it to the edge so it's kind of a smoother flow into it. And let's um, click this bottom dot onto here or point, whatever you want to call it, and drag that up. And then we're going to grab the pen tool, but the one with the plus, this is going to add a new anchor point. So I'm going to click one right here and then just use the add to drag this out of the way. See what I'm talking about? Alright, so now if you notice, we have these on two different layers. We have just that end flap and then this one right here. We want to combine those. So click on the gray thumbnail here and control C or command C. And then you can hide this. Click on the gray on this one and control V and it pastes it right in. So you can go ahead and delete the top one because it's useless and we don't need it anymore. So now that those are all on one layer, we can kind of see what we're doing a little bit better and clean up the edges just uh, just a tiny bit. What I want to do is probably bring in this lower edge and then add a new point right in the center here. And I'm going to drag that out just to round off that edge. Um, you don't have to copy me exactly, but um, you know my way is always the correct way. But uh, yeah, do your own thing. I'm going to select these two points here. I'm going to click over to the left one time. You can see it kind of brings it over. Actually, just leave it as is. Don't listen to me. Alrighty, so let me zoom out and bring up this opacity to 100%. And you can kind of see what we got so far. Looks awesome. So now here's a new technique that I learned. If you can select both of these right here, and then up here you'll see a button that says combine. Click that, and it makes it into one shape. Now that's all combined, I see that we have a bit of a bulging weirdness going on in this little corner here. So. Without spending too much time on it, I'm just going to quickly try and modify that. Let me rotate this slightly. And then that looks pretty good. Good enough. Alright, so the reason I combine that is so it's a little bit cleaner. And then the reason that I only have half of it is so when I duplicate this, it's going to be the exact same thing on the right side. So to duplicate it, I'm just going to click on this one shape, 
hold down alt and you can see the plus appears next to my cursor then hold on shift so that constrains it in one direction left and right or up and down so I'm gonna go alt and shift and drag to the side here and then control T to get the free transform tool and then right click it and go to flip horizontal a lot of steps but very very simple okay so now that that, that is flipped let's just hold on shift and click and drag it right into place you can see it there and if I do command semicolon I can remove that guideline just to see the center alright so now we're gonna do this again we're gonna click these two and go to combine and you can see it combine that into one great nice shape if we zoom out you can see that it kinda looks like he has a weird hat but um, yeah it's a helmet trust me okay so now that we have the helmet uh, I'm going to create a new layer and we're gonna begin working on his face so again I'm gonna start with a basic shape and it's going to be the rounded rectangle tool. Click that. Then up here I'm going to change the radius. Let's try out 10. See what that looks like. Not bad. Let's go with 15 and we'll call it a day. I'm going to go 15 and then do the same thing there. Very good, very good. And then command semicolon to get that uh, the lines again. And I'm going to click and hold on this plus the pen tool and do the minus. And I'm going to subtract this side, that one, click and hold, go into convert point tool, click, click, and it's going to make that very sharp. Awesome, it's like a knife. Alright, grab your direct selection, select that, and again, we're going to drag that right to the, select it, drag it right to the center by holding on shift. That way we can work on this left side, mirror it, and you'll see it's going to be perfect on the right side. Alright, so we got that. Uh, what I want to do is create one more rounder rectangle tool shape or actually We just grab this one hold on alt and shift and drag it down That way we have the exact same angle But we just have to scale it up. So don't don't do control T and scale it or else you're gonna get uh, Really weird shapes the edges are gonna get rounded all weird So the way you want to resize a rounded rectangle is um, <clears throat> to grab your your uh, your cursor tool just select the blower points and then just drag those up by hand much much easier alrighty um, actually what we can do is leave that down and then just get rid of uh, get rid of these points right here um, which one do we not want let's get rid of this one right here and then go back to convert and click that keep it sharp let's line that to the bottom and that's good enough and you'll see what we're gonna do to cut this out so it's a nice nice curve alright so one last thing we have to do is create this indent right here if you can see I have a bit of a arch going inside so to do that I'm going to grab the pen tool and then click once here hold on shift or not hold on shift but click in the center click here and then hold on shift click up up and then connect it very good select those and bring it to the center again <coughs> and now again this is on the wrong layer so what we want to do is select that thumbnail just the gray box control C and then go to this one and control V and it's on the same layer go ahead and delete that because it's useless alrighty look how beautiful that's looking we could probably fix this up because it's looking a bit, bit funky there Let's go to this layer and maybe grab that point and bring it down. And it looks good enough. Alright, let's zoom out. And it looks good. And let's see. Let's combine these actually. Let's select all that and click combine. Or not yet. We'll leave it as is. Sorry, 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 sorry. Get ahead of myself. Alright, so let's create a. Uh, this arch right here. So I'm going to click and hold and then grab this ellipse tool which is vector still and then up here I'm going to click on this one right here and this is the subtract mode so whatever we draw it's going to subtract that from the shape now you get where I'm going with this I'm going to zoom out draw out a big circle something like that select it move it into place right about there is fine I'm not worried too much about up here I'm looking more right here at this width 
So once I mirror this over, how wide will his jaw be? So that looks good enough. So I'm going to select both of these and click Combine, and you'll see that's going to make that into one shape. Alright, so grab both of these, or all of these, the shape, hold on Alt and Shift, click and drag it over, Control T, and flip horizontal, and then again, move it into place. You can see it's um, not lining up too well, so what we want to do is, let's undo that. Okay. Let's select these points right here, and I'm going to move them over just a little bit, something like that. And then again, I'm going to select the path selection tool, select all those, Alt Shift, and then flip horizontal, bring up my guideline, and then just drag it over. Perfect. Let me uh, turn up the opacity. Let's change the color so we can see the difference. And then drag it underneath the helmet. There we go. Look how look how that's looking. Great. I'm amazed. Alright, so we're almost done. Let's just do a little bit of detail right here with his nose and his eyes. So um, again, we're going to use the cutout tool. So I'm just going to start off with a rectangle. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm going to go on the side here. I'm draw a rectangle about the size I want. <clears throat> and then, hmm, I want to create that nose. Let me control T and try flipping it this way. And then I'm going to grab uh, the delete tool. I'm going to delete this anchor point right here. I'm going to select this and then go control or hold on Alt and Shift, bring it down. And then I'm going to use that subtraction right there. See how it subtracts it? Select both of those and go to combine. Perfect nose. I'm amazed at myself. Let me uh, select that, bring it into place here. Control T. I'm going to scale it down. Maybe shrink it in a little bit. Scale it up. Perfect. And then I'm going to click on this thumbnail here. Control C. Go into this one. Control V. And then I want to select it and change it to punch out right there. That way it punches out of there. All right, let's um, let's work on these eyes. I am going to do something kind of cool with it. I'm going to zoom in. We're going to grab the ellipse tool, hold on Shift, and draw draw out an eye like that. And then let's go to the points so we can see what the points look like. And I'm going to drag this one down and out. Maybe align that a little bit differently. Something like that. Let's see how that looks. Maybe we'll make that sharp in that corner. So I'm going to go to the Convert Point tool, and let's see what that looks like. Convert that to a point, and then let's drag it down. Like that. That looks nice. Kind of scary. So um, let's, again, select this thumbnail right here. Control-C. Hide it. Go to this one. Control-V. And then select that entire shape, and make it punch out. Then hold on Alt and Shift, convert it over, and then flip horizontal, and there we go. Got the second eye. Hmm, very nice. All right, so one last thing I want to do is oh, two last things. We got to create some teeth really quickly. So let me delete that top layer that's useless. On this face layer, I'm going to draw out just a simple rectangle, something like that. Um, copy it, delete that layer, and then paste it into here, and make sure it's punching out. Alright, select that, hold on Alt and Shift, and I'm going to drag it over something, maybe one right there, and then one more right here. Select all three of those, and make sure they're all aligned evenly spaced. Looks good. Maybe we can shrink those down just a little bit. Control T and just drag it down. All right. So now one last thing I want to do is if um, we can hide my drawing, bring up the opacity. This one's 100 as well. Um, for this logo, I kind of want to have a 
space right here just so it's not black going straight into this I want kind of a white space so rather than just drawing a white line or something I am going to actually have it punched out of the face shape so to do that I'm gonna to go to this helmet layer and I'm just going to select it and control C the entire thing go to this face layer and control V but again I want to have it punch out so I'm gonna click the punch out and then go down about five pixels control T and I'm going to just scale it in a little bit something like that let me zoom out and there you go you can see there's a nice little spacing right there um, let's add a little bit of detail to this helmet I'm gonna make it the same color as that and then I want to have maybe just like a little war wound, wound or whatever like a cutout inside the helmet just to give it some more character because right now it looks a little bland and plain so I'm just gonna grab my pen tool click on that layer have the subtract right there click 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 there we go um, don't want to overdo it but maybe one more right here oops punch out maybe one more over here there we go that has a bit more character to it I like that alrighty that's gonna end this off um, we could always combine these two layers right here if you wanted, but I want to keep the helmet separate so I can work on the face without worrying about the helmet. Um, let's just do a little bit of, make the background a little more interesting. Let's add a stroke, one pixel, inside, maybe a dark gray, inner shadow. Um, let's do a distance of zero, choke, and then size two, change the color to white, bring up the opacity, and then normal. Just moving fast because I'm just doing some things that I like to do. We don't have to copy these exactly. But just having them like a little white border inside of here. And then we'll do an inner glow. Gonna change this to normal. Change the color to black. Bump up the size, something like this. And then bring that opacity way, way down. Just so we're focused right here on the center. Alright, very cool, very nice. Um, if you really wanted, you can add some text, but I'm not gonna do that. It's just a little bit of a waste of time. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and hopefully you learned how to work with vectors. You're, maybe you're more comfortable now and be able to pump out some sweet logos. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below or send me a PM. And I ask you to subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and see you next time.